Hey y'all. So today, I'm so sorry I'm late y'all. I have been having major technical difficulties. I couldn't get my camera to work. And so I was trying to figure out what was going on with my camera. And it's just been kind of dreary and rainy here. So I've just been like, Ugh. so hey y'all. Happy Friday. So sorry I'm late. I don't really like this setup. Um, but we're gonna make it work. Hi, Four Corners. Welcome. Hey, Josie. Welcome. That's if y'all still here because I'm 15 minutes late. Sorry, y'all. I hate being late, but mm -mm. my camera wouldn't work. I don't know what was going on today. I kind of got a late start. Hi, Shay. Hi, Vivian. Hey, Kenya. So I also don't even have my, you know, I'm a hot mess today, but we gonna make this work out because I missed crafting with y'all last week, even though I, I did get on last week, but I did not craft any with y'all. So we're going to see how this works. Hi, Aunt Maddie. How are you? Welcome. If you're still here, because that was all the way at seven o'clock. Usually I like to be punctual, but today, yeah, I don't know what's going on with my camera, why it wouldn't connect, but we'll see. Hey, Angel, what's up, girl? Girl, you were on time today and I was late. So if you're still here, hey, girl, hey, welcome. I hate doing this from the computer because it just looks so strange. Hey, Coretta, happy Friday. Hey, Lachelle, welcome. Hi, Mika. Hi, Elena. Hi, Cassie. Y'all, I'm going to go kind of quick because I'm already, y'all already not be behind already anyway. Hey, Elena, how are you? <laughs> Terrell, please. Okay, I made it. I should be showing everybody's comments. Cassie, Terrell, Cassie again. Hi, Kelly. Hey, Blue. How are you? Hey, Angela. Hey, Kim. Hey, Nini. Hey, Misha. Hey, Larisse. Hey, Julius. Welcome. It's been a minute. I hope all is well. Hey, Kemp Designs. Hey, creativity in progress. Welcome and happy Friday. So what are y'all working on tonight? Tonight, we are going to be doing, do I have the shirt? Did I even get the shirt? Okay. I think I got, I, have, I think I have mostly everything that I need. So the other day I made a shirt using a little bit of um, pattern vinyl, but this one is a little different. I think this is the Caesar pattern vinyl. And so the one that I did the other day, you didn't have to mirror it, but I think this one you have to mirror. So we're going to be using a little bit of this today. We're going to make a shirt and we are also going to use some rhinestones today. So hopefully I'll be able to show y'all that. It won't take, hopefully it shouldn't take that long, but y'all know how things go. I was a little bit down all day today. Hey, Sin, how are you? What you got going on? I saw that you were on live earlier and, you know, I was at work, so I couldn't hop on. So I got to catch the replay. Hey, Marissa. Happy Friday. Hey, Marilyn. Happy Friday, girl. Hey, Kirsten. Hey, Vivian. Hey, Tamika. Hi, Phyllis. Hey, Wanda. <laughs> Last week was cool. Last week was really cool. It, no, it was. All that stuff that you gave me, I haven't even used it yet. The bell is, it should be somewhere behind that pile of stuff that I have over there on the desk. And yeah, I can't wait to use that bell. Make all the noise. Not like Big Boy though, but... 
some noise. Hi, Gigi. Hey, Anita. I know we made it. We made it. So yeah, y'all. So that's what I'm going to be making tonight. Let me know what y'all doing. If y'all just chilling or what. I didn't even get a chance to change the, the title. I might do that real quick with y'all on the phone. Marilyn saying, hey to Blue. Blue, I'm happy that you are a great girl. Oh, I need this time with y'all tonight just to chat and talk. Hey, Nicole. Hi, Javonda. Yep, what Blue said. Thank you, Blue. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Also, if you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. In addition, head over to Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Y'all need my TikTok numbers to go up a little bit more. But head over there and like us over there as well. Hey, Lakeisha Boo. How are you? I hope all is well. Happy Friday. Marilyn, it is pretty. So I have a few um, of the pattern HTVs. And so we're going to use this with a little bit of rhinestones. I have some other, like I had some Christmas ones. If y'all saw the TikTok that I did, um, but I'm going to put an extended version on YouTube of that same video. But I use some like uh, Christmas themed pattern HTV. I can't wait to use some more of that. Oh, Josie, boo, hey, girl. Today was rough. <laughs> I hope you had a good day today. Hey, JC, welcome. Hey, Rosetta. Hi, Miss Sharon. How are you? Uh-oh, y'all. Uh-oh. Wait. Wait, I see some green at the top. Do I need to get my bell and ring it? Dems is saying, hey, Josie, Ruth, hey, Ruth. Sorry, I was late, y'all. If you guys came on before, I was 15 minutes late. I do apologize. I have been having technical difficulties tonight trying to set up. Um, and so I just did the, the, you know, how I originally started on my computer. So hopefully it's not too bad. Oh, it's been super rainy. Hi, Be Embellished Crafts. Yeah, I'm a little off. Oh, I'm so off, girl. So off. Hey, big boy, what's up? Big boy saying hey to everybody. And JD's Corner blessed your girl with a super chat. Thank you so much, JD's Corner. JD, I need to get my bell. Hold on a second. I'm going to just do a light ringing of the bell. This is courtesy of Eve, the baby's booty. Let me see if I can get it. So I'm just going to do a, a small ringing. Not too much because, oh, y'all like my shirt? See, I can't even show y'all my shirt good with this camera. I hate this computer. Well, I don't hate it, but y'all know what I mean. Y'all like my shirt? So my shirt is from T-Shirt Man Los, And on his TikTok, I don't know how often he does it, but I caught his live on TikTok. And he has this thing where he, he does like a TikTok shirt or whatever. And that particular design, you get the shirt for $10. And so... I had to jump on that. Like, y'all go check him out. T-Shirt Man Los, he also has a YouTube, and his TikTok is popping, y'all. But thank you. Uh oh I got to show the... I don't want it too loud, but thank you, JD's Corner. Oh. At first, that's what we were going to do tonight is was do a little bit of uh, sublimation, but I need to make me a Thanksgiving shirt for school for when I go to work. And yeah, that's going to be tonight. That's going to be tonight. Trying to stay dry. I was displaced out of my class because as y'all know, my class is in a portable. And so I couldn't even go into class 
because if I would win in the class, I was I was not going to walk in the rain. And then the kids, I did not want them to have to walk in the rain. So we ended up having to have class today in the media center. And I don't know how many times I told those kids, shh. They were like, you're like a mama. Because I was like, let me explain something to y'all. We are out in public and <laughs> y'all better act like y'all got some sense. So they were like, oh my God, you act just like our mom. Well, listen. We are out in public and you need to act like you got some classroom training from your teacher. Cause whoa. Josie is saying hey to everyone. Hey Starla. Let's see. Tims, I'm happy to hear that girl. Y'all see, I had to get my tea. Because yeah. I need it. And big boy, thanks, big boy. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Y'all just be contributing to my tea habit. Working on some things for pop-up shop. Cool. What you working on? What you making? Shirts, keychains. What you doing? Well, hey, again, JD, I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Hey, MCB, y'all, I'm trying to hurry up and go through so that, because y'all know I'd be taking too long. I'd be taking way too long. Look at this. I'm only up here. Let me see how far I'm going to go. If I miss you, please don't take it personal. I'm just trying to get through. Y'all know I'm already late and I'm frazzled and razzled and dazzled. Hey, Jesse, what's up? How are you? Oh, girl, I got, I'm calling you when we're done. I don't even think we're going to be on that long, Josie. Can you show us how to make a bootleg Valentino shirt with a vinyl and silhouette machine? I don't have a silhouette machine. I use Cricut. So, yeah, no. I don't think that's going to be possible, Terrell. I don't think that's going to be possible. Oh, thank you, Aunt Maddie. I'm so glad that you joined us. Is this your first live with us? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I have a sweet tea habit that I can't kick. So I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And happy Friday. I don't have nothing cute. I, I need a song. Josie, Josie's supposed to create her something. I need to figure out my life. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, look at these. D and Shay's takeover. Y'all go and check them out. They have pranks. They do mukbangs. They do all types of things over on D and Shay's takeover. Y'all go check out my boot, Shay. Thank you, Shay. Always coming through and blessing me. I appreciate it. And I love you too, boo. Uh-oh, I didn't even ring the bell. I can't be like Big Boy. Y'all know how Big Boy. If y'all go on Big Boy's um channel, y'all know how Big Boy be. I broke the bell. All right, let's see. Am I frozen, y'all? This computer better not be acting up. Please tell me if I'm frozen. Let's see, Ty. I don't want to do a bonnet for a minute. <laughs> Sharon, I want to do some bonnets. I may do some bonnets this weekend. And I've been looking at other embroidery machines. But I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to stick with this little one for a while. But I have been looking. Um, sorry, y'all. I'm about to go. 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 Okay, I think I'm done at the bottom. Let me see. Let me see. No, I'm not. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. I appreciate your support, Terrell. Thanks, Blue. Thanks, Jesse. Thanks, y'all. So that's what we got going on. But y'all, I just been so down because um I went on Facebook yesterday, last night. I really go on to like the regular, like my personal page side of Facebook. 
And it's just so much sadness. Like one girl I went to school with, she passed away last night. Then today, or not today, like day or yesterday, but she didn't make an announcement. Another classmate, she lost her 18-year-old daughter. And so I've just been like, today's been, and then it's been raining all day. It has been raining all day in South Florida. So it's just, I don't know, but I am thankful. And I am glad to be here with y'all tonight. Oh, can you make it a little bit of everything? And hi, Miko. Welcome. Hi, Kathy. Welcome. And thank you for answering my question. All right. So we are going to get ready and do something. So y'all, I am working with the solo today. Um, yeah. So I don't know if y'all going to be able to hear because where the computer is, that's why I, I usually do it from over there, but because of my technical difficulties, I can't even talk tonight because of my technical difficulties, it's a little bit close to the computer. So we are going to see how this is going to work. We are going to create a rhinestone template. And this is one that I created the other day, but we're going to create a rhinestone template and we are going to do everything from scratch. We are going to um, cut the template and then do everything that we need to do. But I do want to show y'all this pattern HTV that I got from, I don't know, it's just like Buffalo print HTV that I got from um, the transfer warehouse. And I got a few other, a few other things. Y'all, I'm off today. Sorry. Hey, Crafts Obsessed. Hi, Uniquely Tisa. So let's see. Hi, Sherry. Y'all, I'm a little bit behind in preparation. I'm usually a little more prepared, but we about to go with it. So let's open up the StarCraft Solo Um App, and I hopefully I'll be able to see your comments. Hold on, hold on. I was thinking of doing it in silhouette, but I don't think that I'm going to do it. Hold on. Cancel. I don't want to save it. Save, no. All right, so I'm going to do a screen share, and hopefully we're not here all night because, yeah. Uh oh, hold on, let me see, let me see. Not anymore. That's what I was saying. So sorry for your loss, Blue. That seems to be going around a lot. So anyone who has lost anyone or like i just kind of get like i'm super empathetic y'all so it kind of like just takes over and i just i can't but anybody who has lost anyone i lost two uncles this year um and then some other people who were pretty close so if you've experienced any loss this year i am praying for y'all and you have my sincerest condolences let me pull up, and I'm going to share my screen right now. I don't have nothing fun to talk about today, y'all. I'm so sorry. Um, I want this one. All right, so I don't know when they are going to actually put the StarCraft on the market. Um, originally, they had said, I think sometime like August, September, then it moved to the end of October, and now we are in or almost out of the first week of November. So I don't know. I know there were difficulties with uh, as far as getting it here. Shipping was a problem. So I'm just guessing that's still the problem. So this is the StarCraft, uh, Starcraft uh, design software. Can't even think. So I already created something um, and I should show y'all like what I create. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in what I created. Hold on, I can't, you guys can't even see my screen, can you? Hold on. Let 
me see if you can see it. Can y'all see that screen? Okay, now you can see it. All right, so this is the StarCraft solo and I'm gonna import. So I made a file in Adobe Illustrator and I am going to bring in a, I also purchased the file from Design Bundles. Pretty it says pretty much the same thing. I might've wasted my money. Y'all let me know, okay? So let me see what I, Oh, I'm gonna download both and then I'm gonna ask you guys like which one you like better. I'm not gonna tell you guys which one I I did first because I want to see which one you guys like better and I'm gonna use that one. All right, so let me go back. Yes. All right, so let's see, import. And you honestly, you can just drag and drop um, files here. You don't have to necessarily uh, import it this way. You can drag and drop them, which makes it a little different from Cricut because y'all know with Cricut, you, um, you can't drag and drop unless they've changed. They, they've had some updates, but the last time I was in there, I don't remember seeing or, or dragging and dropping, but I didn't try. I can't see the comment section, so I'm so sorry, y'all. I should have had my other, um, I should have my iPad here, but. All right, so I'm gonna see which one you guys like the best. I think I'm gonna minimize it just a little bit. So you have that top one, which y'all probably can't see that good. So one says, the top one says, thankful, blessed, and kind of a mess. The bottom says, thankful, blessed, and a hot mess. And so I am going to bling out the word blessed in either one of these files. So let me go back and see which one you guys like. Which one do you guys like? Um, better the top one or the bottom one. And when you comment, I'm going to go into, I need to change the header off here. But let me see what you guys said. Let me see what y'all said. Sorry, I'm not so energized today. With a rain, I can make a t-shirt with a reindeer on it. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What's up? Hold on. Hold on. I'm tired of Cricut. I'm thinking about getting a silhouette or that StarCraft cutter. I, I actually like the StarCraft cutter. I do. I prefer the Cricut. Um, I think there's some a little bit of kinks. Like as I use the solo a little bit more, it's something the rollers are okay, but if you have um, like a 12 by 12 and you're using it without a mat, it doesn't cut it as well as if it were able to go under the roller. So when I flip the camera, I'll show you guys it, okay? Hold on. Take it easy on yourself. Oh, thank you, Cassie. I appreciate it. So we are going to go with the... Looks like we have more for the top. So we'll probably go with the top. We have a few for the bottom. Hey, T-shirt man, Los. Um, listen, I had to wear this shirt. I needed some good vibes today. So I had to wear this shirt for tonight's live. And for those of you who might have caught this Later, I did tell everybody earlier, but Los made this shirt. Um, I somehow I caught one of his lives, and he has like a TikTok shirt situation where at that time this isn't the TikTok shirt. I don't think he picked out another shirt for me, but he has where you can get one of his shirts designed. And y'all, these shirts are so nice. They are nice. These are not. Yeah, these are very very nice shirts. And he even stamps the side. So, all right, y'all, let me check Los out on 
YouTube. He has his own channel and he also has a uh, TikTok. All right, so I'm going to go back into StarCraft and we are going to, we're going to do the top one. And then I am going to, uh -oh. let me make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to just bling out the, um, uh, so this one, the font isn't that thick for the word thankful. So I don't know how this is going to look with it. We can try it and see, um, and see how it looks. It may be too light for this. No, no, there's a little black in it. We're going to go with it. This is what we were doing from the beginning. We're going to go with it and I'm going to wear it. I wear my shirts, y'all. All right, so we're going to, do I want to resize it? I think I do want to resize it just a tad. Um, and so this is just like any other, you can resize it um, and keep the proportions the same by holding down the shift key. And this is what we're going to do. I think I'm happy with this. So let me ungroup it. And then I just need to select the word blessed and we are going to um, make this into rhinestones. Now the StarCraft uh, Solo Create software, you can change, um, you can, they have a rhinestone feature, which is a lot different from Cricut. As y'all know, Cricut does not have a rhinestone feature. Silhouette does have a rhinestone feature, but the StarCraft Solo has lots of different effects you can do. You can uh, make a puzzle, create a QR code. There are several things that you can do um, as far as making different effects. So our rhinestone size is going to be 10, SS10. Um, and we're going to go with the 21 Pro plate because I always pick that one and I don't know anything different. And so they have where they, they can cut different rhinestone shapes here. And so this is more like a rectangular square. And then they have the rhinestone that I'm going to use. And so I need to just select that. And then you can preview it. So do y'all like it like outlined like that? Or I think I may like it outlined. You can go and fill the shape in. And then let's see if we click preview. But then you have to go and start adjusting the, the stone space. And so here it also tells you like how many stones you're going to use for this part of the design. I think I just want to do a um, an outline. I don't necessarily want to fill the shape in. I think that looks better. What y'all think? Do y'all think, I like the outline, but tell me what you think. Do you think I should fill it in or keep the outline? Let's see, did I miss anybody? Hey, Danny. Welcome, happy Friday. What Marilyn said, y'all, please hit that thumbs up button. Let's see. And Blue, Blue said there's 71 of y'all here, only 36 likes. Make sure you hit the like button. So, okay, I see. Okay, we're on the same page. I'm starting to get a little energized, y'all. So we are on the same page. Let me go back. Hold on a second, y'all. Okay, so honestly, y'all, that's pretty much it. For um, for this design, is that easy to to get it done? Hold on a second. I'm just changing the title. Sorry, y'all. I'm so far behind. Like, girl, stop saying you so far behind. We know you so far behind. You had us waiting. All right, let's see. All right, so now I'm going to get ready. And once I click OK, it's all set. And we can get ready to make it. And so you can pretty much, much select what it is that you want to cut from 
the screen and then go to create. So here, this is where they have like the layers and of course each uh, piece of artwork that's attached or there's a compound path around it, it's listed here separately. So you can either select it here and then click create or you can select it, just select it on the screen. So we are going to select, I'm gonna cut these out separately, but let's do the rhinestone um, first. So we're gonna go here to create. And then the way that the Starcraft does it, or the Solo does it, um, you can pretty much adjust where you want the cut to start. I actually like to feed the vinyl from the back of the StarCraft Solo. You can feed it either from the front or the back. That just tells you, and you know, I prefer that way. It's, if you get one of these, it's up to you, but that's the origin point. And so right here is where you would select um, like other places. So they have this crazy acronym here and it really just means what you see is what you get. And so this is where it would print or cut. Um, and then they have like a center point, but it didn't really move. It looks like that's the center too. So we're going to go back with the origin point because I like um, there. And here is where, when we get ready to do the HTV, somebody please remind me to mirror it because I probably won't remember. But this is to mirror your, um, your image. And then you can control uh, the pressure speed, pressure and speed from here, or you can control it from the, the actual StarCraft. I'll show y'all that too. But let's see, cut lines. And then I need to be ready prior to me pressing um, create because it's not a print and cut. So let me get the flock. Hold on, let me, let me move my tea y'all. It's in the way, sorry. And move my book out. I'll put it back here. And we are going to, I'm gonna turn. Y'all gonna see how jacked up my set my my setup is tonight in two seconds. I just so jacked up. All right, so it should already be set to the rhinestone setting because I already, well, it doesn't really have a rhinestone setting. Um, you kind of have to adjust the pressure and everything. But let me see. Uh-oh. All right, let's see if I can pull it up. I'm gonna try to, I don't wanna click create yet but I am going to move Shay Shay. Hey, boo. That's the first name I saw when I clicked back into the screen. What am I missing? Who am I missing? Who am I missing? Coming back to say hey to y'all. I know, Danny, I know it was supposed to be out on the 31st and then they keep changing it, but it was because of the shipping. So... It may be stuck out somewhere. And I guess once they get it back in, they have to do whatever else they need to do um, to it. Um, honestly, JC, I prefer both. I don't have one preference. Hi, Tracy. I don't have one preference of either. Um, I equally spend my funds in both places. It's really a matter of how lazy I'm feeling. That's really what it is. It's really a matter of how lazy I'm feeling. Hey, Angela. <laughs> I love it. Oh, thank you, Danny. Well, hey, girl, hey. Thanks, Blue. Oh, Tracy. Girl, tell me about it. Ruth, it's been raining all day long. Oh my goodness. Hey, Georgie. All right, let's, let's go in here and see. 
Elena, for the StarCraft, not yet. Um, I'll have I have a link. I'm gonna update the link inside of the in all of my StarCraft videos, but not yet. Not yet. All right. So let me. I'm gonna add this to the screen. I don't know if, uh, hold on, let me move this one out. So I'm gonna get out of StarCraft um, Create because we're pretty much done with it. I kind of showed y'all already like how to cut, like the process of going through cutting. Oh no, I didn't because it did not show y'all. Hold on, let me go back to the screen. I actually see now that it did not show y'all. Stop screen share. Uh, share share screen window okay so I'm gonna show you guys one more time like what I was talking about because you guys did not see it so this is hold on so this was the screen that I was talking about like how to move it around so right now the starcraft always starts at, at the corner and I'm gonna feed it from the back and then you can do center point or you can do what you see is what you get which is pretty much wherever you see it on the sheet is where it's going to be um i'm going to be cutting today without a mat so please remind me to click mirror um when i get ready to cut for the htv and then you can control the pressures and the speed here also all right so i am going to switch over to the camera, that was a quick version of what I said before, because y'all, I wasn't even on the screen. I keep forgetting when you share your screen here, you can't, um, and I click, let's say I, I click print and it takes me to like the dialogue box. It doesn't show that, uh, show that either. All right, so let me stop screen share. Okay, and I'm actually going to make this one bigger. This one. Okay, so this is the StarCraft. My setup is a hot mess today, but sorry, y'all. All right, so I have some of the hot fix tape. Hopefully, this is going to work fine. Uh -oh. Sorry, y'all. Goodness gracious. Hopefully, this is going to work fine. And I have a piece of cardstock for me to um, put my template on for the word blessed. Right. And so you pretty much just stick it in from the back. That's, you know what? I'm going to cut it a little bit wider. I'm going to show y'all show y'all why I'm going to do it this way. And I'm not going to waste it, but... The rollers, you see how far the rollers are apart from each other? So there's a roller here, a roller here, and a roller here. Um, if the paper or vinyl or whatever is this long, this is not, this side isn't really protected because the roller is all the way over here. And so what happens when this is going back and forth, it kind of uh, snatches the edge of the paper. So I'm going to do the flock like I'm gonna cut a piece long enough to go under all three rollers, but that's what I've kind of found that one issue that I had with, with the StarCraft, depending on your, your paper size. So I'm just gonna cut this and I'm eyeballing this y'all. I'm not really um, doing anything, but I don't like to do like this cause y'all flock is expensive. I do not want to voice any flock. And so I'm gonna feed this from the back. Let me see. I think it's still down. Oh, y'all, I need to lint roll this flock because it's like material. You know what? Let me stick it from this way. All right, so you have to release the roller. I'm gonna push it all the way back. And the needle, what did I cut last with this? Did I cut the, no, I think I cut the flock first. All right, so the needle, um, when you put it here, you wanna make sure that it's under the blade in the corner, like the top right corner of whatever you're putting it putting in. And then 
you'll bring it back up. So I'm going to do a test cut because I think I changed the force. And you can change like the force and everything on the machine. So right now it's at a 24 force. I thought that I cut uh, flock with it last, but I didn't. So we're going to go ahead and increase the, the force. We're going to increase the force. See, it's a little more manual uh, work than Cricut. So with Cricut, y'all know that you could click um, more pressure or less pressure or something like that. Well, this way, um, you kind of have to do a little more manual work with it. So I definitely recommend the, the Cricut for beginners. Um, if you're very new to crafting or you've never had like a machine, I would definitely recommend the Cricut because it's just easier. Um, but yeah, so right now I'm actually adjusting the blade, meet the top part. I'm turning it to kind of uh, expose the blade a little more so that it can cut the flock. Okay, so it can cut the flock. <laughs> oh, that sounds so strange, y'all. All right, so I think enough is exposed, and I'm not using a um, I'm not using a mat, and so I just want to test it. Okay, so we're gonna test it out real quick and see how it cuts. Uh oh, I'm missing y'all. I'm missing. I'm missing. Let's see. Hey Sandra, let me click test, and then I'm gonna see. All right, so that was the test. We're going to see if it worked out well. Let me see. Did I miss? Y'all are in here talking. I love this. All right, let's see. Is it raining? Oh, thank you, Elena. Y'all know y'all want to go ahead. Hit that thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. The blessing. Yes. Yeah, that is so true, Blue. One of my favorite quotes is the sun is somewhere shining even when it rains. So you just got to look for that sunshine. Yep. Hey, Eve. Eve. Guess what I got right here next to me? Got my little bell. Making a little noise. Uh-oh. Hey, Kim. That's another thing. The rollers are not adjustable. They are not adjustable. Or if they are, I haven't figured that out. But they are not from everything I've tried to do. And y'all, I'd be almost breaking machines trying to figure something out. Hey, Sandra. Thank you, Lowe's. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Blue, was that you? Blue, did you tell me not to not to forget? Okay, so when I get ready to cut the vinyl, I need y'all to remind me. So the flock, we don't have to mirror the flock, but the vinyl, y'all, we gotta mirror the vinyl. I, right? I do, I do. I appreciate it, Tracy. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, Kiana. Welcome. I see y'all don't really need me in the chat that much. Y'all keeping the chat down so I can work. So let me see how this cut. Let me make sure I had enough force. And so looking at it, I don't know if y'all can see that. So this is just like the test cut and... Yeah, it's good. It's enough. So I'm going to, with these, because it's so new, I, I haven't gotten really comfortable to not do a test cut yet. So I definitely like to do a test cut, but I'm going to push this down and I am going to just put it right here uh, next to where that little test cut was. And then you got to lock it back. All right, so we are ready to click create, and I'm going to come chat with y'all 
while this thing makes all the noise. Uh-oh. Y'all see, look, y'all can see half of the computer screen. All right, let me click, cut, 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 cut. And then I'm coming to chat with y'all because we need to talk. At least I need to talk. And then you can also kind of adjust it here. I know I just, uh, I put it in and I clamped it down, but you can kind of adjust it from the screen. But it is definitely a little more, uh, manual than Cricut, but as y'all saw, the design software is is actually really good. It's an actual uh, design software. So we are going to create, and uh-oh, we got a red light, y'all. Hold on. I'm gonna cancel, stop. Why do we have a red light? Is it down? The red light is bad news, y'all. Hold on. Let's put it this way. It might have been too far over. So I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm going to put it over just a tad. All right, let's see. And then I'm going to clamp it back up. And then let's see. I'm pretty good with. All right. Let me put it back through again. Hopefully this time it will work. I don't know why. Uh-oh. Let me put the origin point. Uh, create. Let's see. Uh, I think that's something I did. Um, I didn't switch it back to origin point, and so yeah, that's the wrong thing. All right. So, how loud do you think this is? Do y'all think this is too loud? Hold on. Let's see. Who did I miss? Barb, did I say hey to you, Barb? <laughs> I don't do. <laughs> Big boy be about to take a, a, a shoulder out its socket when he's doing it. Y'all know Big Boy does not play with this bell. His poor bell has been abused. Hey, Barb. I don't want to put on my glasses. Haley and Londa. That's what we're going to try. Let me get these rhinestones that we're going to use right now. Let me see. So, we're just going to use some uh, the silver ones today. I need to find that brush. Let's see. Let's see. Uh oh. Did it click off? Oh, there's back. Hey, Chloe, welcome, and thank you for dropping by. I met Chloe Education TV at um, the Graphics Expo, and he is certified in all things Adobe, y'all, so check him out. He's just starting his YouTube channel, and he is going to be placing, uh, uploading more videos for graphics, designs. He's an artist. He actually wrote, like, a children's book, and he also has... Um, a book where he features like other artists and showcases their work. I'll, I, give me a few minutes. I think I'm going to go get it to show y'all the book. But definitely check them out. Yeah, no, this one, this machine is the StarCraft Solo um, tonight. That's what we're using. Using something a little bit different. I was going to try to do some um, sublimation tonight, but yeah, just wasn't prepared. Just wasn't prepared. Marilyn, I love my belt. I don't want to break it. I don't want to use it. Let's 
see, let's see. So, Tracy, I think I saw you. Hold on, did I miss? Okay, how wide is the cutting area? So it's 16 inches, 16 inches wide, and it can cut like, y'all, I cut something really long uh, last week on this, like super long. So it definitely can cut it really long. I had no problems with it cutting. Hey, Miss Crafty Creations. Yeah, a little bit of rhinestone, a little bit of HTV, a little bit of pattern HTV barb. So actually, let me cut this out really quick because I want to do it the same way, but that's my only problem. It's the rollers because you can't adjust them and then trying to move it back and forth. That was not really appealing. And I messed up quite a few um, pieces of HTV and flock because um, when the machine goes back and forth, it catches the edge because it's not stable. So that's the only problem. So this is a StarCraft Solo. It's not for sale yet. I thought that it was going to be on the market by now, but it's not yet. Um, hopefully soon, hopefully before Christmas, they'll have it prepared and ready to sell. The problem was in the shipping. Um, Y'all know shipping has been crazy, um, and a lot of things were stuck out to sea. So it's not it's not quite ready yet. Yeah, it's a StarCraft Solo. It is, it is, it's not that loud. Somebody, in a video I did, somebody was like, it sounds like a fish tank or something like that. Fish blowing bubbles. And it kind of does. Ruth is saying, hey, Eve, hey, girl, hey. Oh, Rosalind, I had some papers to grade, and guess what, girl? I left those right at the school because today was a day. I'll grade those on Monday during my planning. But I'm glad that you're here. Happy grading. Marlinda, thank you so much. Here's a toast to you. Girl, y'all have no idea how much sweet tea keeps me going. It really keeps me going. And lately, y'all know my, my Dunkin' just reopened and... Honestly, y'all, some days I'm impressed. Other days I'm not so impressed. But, you know, I said I was going to have to find another Duncan, But I'm not actually going to find another Duncan. All right. So, can't really see the, the dots. We are going to try to peel this off and get as many dots out as possible. But, y'all, really, this is an outline, so it's not that bad. And then while the other one is cutting... Hopefully, I won't cut any of the, the dots. I'm just cutting it now. Uh-oh. Please tell. Okay. I'm just kind of close, and you can't really tell. It doesn't look that big, right? Did it mirror? Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, okay, okay. Panicking for no reason, y'all. This being a drama queen. All right, so we're done with flock. What the flock is that? So let me get ready and cut out this pad. Look, yo, this is so pretty. Y'all, these letters are not going to do this any justice. It's really not. But. I, I'm going to commit to it. Since I already kind of said that I was going to do that, I'm going to commit to it. But this is really, ouch, this is really not going to do this uh, any justice at all. So we're going to make it work, okay? And I usually prefer to use my little slicer to keep it even. But, yeah. Thanks, Jesse. It's not too loud. Thank goodness. Let's see. Let's see. Did I miss anybody? <laughs> Blue, it's, it's louder than the cricket, Blue? Louder than which cricket? The Maker 3 or the original Maker? Which 
Y'all know I love my cricket, but blue. <laughs> yeah, no. Hold on. Let me put this. Now I'm going to put this in. And I need to mirror it, I believe. Let me make sure. Because this is the first time that I'm using this one. The other one that I used, I don't know if you guys saw that video that I did. Um, that video that I did. It's on TikTok, but I'm going to put like an extended version on YouTube. So this pattern vinyl, you cut it from this side. And you don't need to mirror it. But this one, I think I need to mirror it. I should have double checked before I got on here, but I think you do. And this is usually how I check y'all to see if I need to mirror it, what side the masking is on. And this is definitely the shiny side. So I do want to double check because I don't want to be doing it and it's not. Yeah. So that's how you can tell the masking is at the top. You guys probably can't see. But see, I was able to pull it, peel it back some. So we are going to put this into the solo. All right. I'm going to do it from this way again. So I want y'all to see, like, how and why. Uh-oh. Why is it not going through? I should probably put this onto a, um, onto a mat because how it just curls up. But this is what we're about to do, y'all. We're just going to go with that and see what happens. All right. So you always want to make sure, depending on what you're cutting, but I like to make sure that it's in the corner. That's what they recommend. Okay. We are going to see. Start right there. I gotta go back to what's this thing called? Starcraft uh, Create. Let me see if I missed anything. Forty, where have you been? I've been on for an hour now, and you're just getting here. Hi, Miss Tracy. Um, this machine is actually more than the cricket is going to retail for about 4.99 from what i've been told it'll retail for 4.99 but yeah i agree eve it's very loud very loud what's up 40 <laughs> Shana, you're always here for support. You know, I love you and I appreciate all your support, sis. And I'm so upset that I did not see the um, Secret Santa situation that you're putting on over on your Facebook group. So Shana has a Facebook group. They're doing the Secret Santa thing. And I didn't even, I saw it and I saw something, I guess you put it up yesterday or the day before that it was over like not over but like no more entries or you couldn't be a part of it anymore because it was closed and i'm like how did you miss this so that kind of sucks hold on hold on angela this is a um a pattern vinyl i got this from heat transfer warehouse i got this vinyl from heat transfer warehouse i got the flock and the rhinestones from heat transfer warehouse but this um it's like a pattern i think it's a caesar uh patterned htv that they have but it is really really gorgeous they should have it on their site yeah they're angels <laughs> thank you y'all Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, let me see. <laughs> I love it that y'all are reminding me. Let me, and so let me tell you something. So if I don't mirror it, then guess what? This teacher don't listen. She just like a kid. Don't listen. Hold on, let me see. Let's see, y'all. 40 has me cracking up in these comments. All right, so we are going to click on to. I don't really want to space this out. Oh, yeah, we got a weed too, huh? Oh, let 
didn't think about that. Let me see. Um, okay, so this is going to be very, very interesting, y'all, because we are going to see um, how this cuts. I haven't cut anything as thin as these letters with the solo, so this is going to be the first time we're about to do it. So hopefully it doesn't disappoint me. And y'all, oh my goodness, I need to do a test cut. Sorry, y'all. I need to go and change it because I had the force at 50 for the flock, but that's too much for the, um, too much for HTV and really 20 is too much, but I think I cut some HTV the other day at 20, some of the other printed um, or patterned vinyl. It might've been too much. And now I'm just adjusting this blade a little bit. And I'm gonna test it. Sorry. Okay. Let me, where's my weeding tool? There it is. Uh -oh. It fell. I'm just gonna weed it to see how I can see it. But it doesn't really look like it cut that well. Yeah, no. It don't look like it cut at all. Oh, well, it, it cut, but not good. So this is why, like, it is suggested, especially if you're getting one of these to test that, um, to test it because, and you can adjust the speed. So I'm going to go back up to 20. I think I had it on 24 before. And so let's test it. All right. Yeah. It did, but it's kind of too, it didn't cut all the way through. I should have got another piece and well, I guess y'all. Yeah, it did okay. I mean, it cut, right? I guess that's what I was looking for. Let me kind of, I am going to adjust the, the blade a little bit more so that it can get a little bit deeper. Yeah, but I, I know this font, this, print is kind of um thin so let's see how this goes we can only try right it is mirrored so okay. i think i think it's right okay, let's Marilyn, I remember to mirror it, girl. Let's see. Let's see. 40 is the union president. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So, I am going to, let me see. If this did well, then I'm just going to go. Yeah, it did pretty good, y'all. Kind of good. I mean, as good as I can make that work. And then, but that's the one thing with this machine, which makes, you know, Cricut a little bit easier to deal with because you don't really have to be that concerned with the pressure for certain materials. Like with Cricut, you just type in that you're going to put, use uh, HTV or iron on and you can get it done. But with this one, you have to kind of test it out, test your material out first to make sure that you can cut it. So yeah, all right, so I'm going to cut this next piece and then we are going to read it. But so far it's looking good. Don't miss anything, let me see. If I missed your comment and you said hi to me, I'm so sorry. 
guys. I'm just scrolling away. Hey, 755. All right, so that's it. As y'all see, honestly, y'all, this cuts really, really fast. Okay, it cuts a lot faster than um it cuts a lot faster than a lot of the other cutters. I'm not gonna say no names because y'all know I love my boo, but yeah. All right, so I'm gonna cut this cut this out. Y'all did I? I think I I think I remembered to remember it. I thought I did. Yeah, I did. All right, so I'm going to cut out this piece. I wanted to try to salvage as much of this as I could, but I don't know. So if you have something that you're cutting and it goes in between like those two and it, it can hold it down, then that works. But hold on a second. Let me see. Uh-oh. All right, and then we have this other piece. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna, I gotta weed this out and I gotta weed out the, um, the what you call it? Y'all know what I'm talking about. The block. I need to look this up and see if this is like a cold peel or a hot peel. I mean, that's pretty important. So no, and I didn't even do it. All right, y'all, so let me go ahead and do the flock first. And I do have like um, this hot fix transfer tape for the rhinestones, but for uh, this, for the patterned vinyl that I showed before, and then I had the uh, buffalo plaid vinyl, you need the, the transfer tape or the hot fix tape or masking in order to apply it to your shirts. You need it for this type. But for these, or for this type, you don't really need it, okay? Um, because it already has its own masking. So this, you would just do it like you do regular vinyl. No need to do anything different. And I'm going to just go ahead and get this weeded out. And hopefully, y'all, I got water from my cup on the table. All right. This is always the oh no. Well, I was about to say I don't want to peel out too much because I could use a little piece for something else, but I guess not. So we're just going to go ahead. There's a few pieces that well actually it looks like a lot of pieces not coming off right now, y'all. So you know what? I should have just peeled it away like this. No, I shouldn't have. Okay. I don't know if y'all can see, but I'm not having that great of luck with the <laughs> dots just coming off. And if you have done these, you know that this is not what you want to see. But don't worry. We are going to get these dots off very quickly. All right. So we got a lot off, but I still need to get more. And I'm not going one by one. Give me one second, y'all. All right, as I see, I have my trusty Cricut mat, never disappoints. And I am going to just, what do I do? You know what? Why nobody told me that I put it on top of the, look, <laughs> both, both sides of the Cricut mat works, y'all. <laughs> both sides work. So that is how I'm going to remove the rest of those tiny circles i'm just going to put it on the cricket mat and lift it off and then we should do this after a few times doing this it actually takes them off really good see right here it's not taking it off good so i may have to just kind of press it in a little bit let me see if i'm missing any comments uh-oh Uh oh. All right. So that's how you can get those. 
dots off a little better. And it th these come off. All you need to do to get these off of your Cricut mat is take your scraper and literally just scrape it down and they come right off. So it's perfect. It looks like these cut out pretty good. Only problem, I have a few dots. I don't know if you guys can really see that. Okay. So there's a few more here. I, only a few. I could keep kind of like putting it down and then lifting it off and see they come off. Uh, looks like we're almost there, almost there, almost there. Just making sure. All right. There's one. It looks like there's supposed to be a hole here, but there wasn't. Um. All right, y'all. So it looks like we got them all out. See how quick that was? And this, these come off of your mat really easily. So no need to worry. I need to find, I need to, hold on a second. Sorry, y'all. I'm always talking. Let me put this down. All right. And so I'm just going to, I'm just looking over to make sure that all of those dots are off. And they are. And so I am going to put this down. And then I'll be able to use this again. And the good thing is, oh, goodness, one of those dots got trapped underneath. The good thing is, is that you can even use this um, for something else. Like, it doesn't even have to be this design. Like, I could use this for another design. So, and this lasts. Um, all right, so let me get my little brush, y'all. We're going to brush this on. I got a little mess over here on this table. Sorry. Uh-oh. Forty, what's wrong with you? Hold on. Hi, 60, sweet pea. Oh, I'm just doing um, a little bit of um, pattern HTV and making a rhinestone template. And we're using the StarCraft Solo. I got the wrong color. All right. So then we just have to pour. I should have my little pan underneath, but it's okay. I'm going to try to be neat. Let me get my brush off. There is no brush. There is. Is I have a cute little tiny little brush, and so I'm just gonna go in circles to get them to go into their holes. Let's see what I missed. I'm gonna go and see what I missed. No, the machine is not heavy, it's not heavy at all. Hold on, let me see. Did I miss anybody? Do you do any contour cutting? Yes, I do. Blue, it, it really cuts good. It really cuts good. Well, I'm sorry, 755. I just saw your name, girl. I'm, I'm all over the place today. I'm sorry. It does cut very fast, Kiana. It does. And I think Blue just said hit that like button, y'all. So please hit the like button. All right, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. All right. So, y'all, okay, so I have a few projects that I have to kind of work on for work. So if you've seen, like, other uh, crafts and combos, y'all know that I recently took on the role of uh, the sponsor for the Best Buddies program at my school. And we are doing an inter, we aren't, the school is, the club is not doing it, but we're going to participate in an international festival. And so what type of items do you guys think that 
I can sell to kind of fundraise at that event. So we're going to have a booth, right? Or a table. It's not really a booth. We'll have a table. Um, and what kind of things do you think that I can sell? Remember my audience, um, 14 to, to 14 to um, 19 year olds. And then I also have, you know, teachers who will be at the the festival. So what do you guys think I should sell? Like I was thinking of doing like some pouches um, with the years on it, but embroidering, but that might be just too much. And I don't know, our, our international festival, one of my coworkers reminded me like, girl, you think those kids gonna come buy some crafts when they could go and eat some pumpkin fries or like some other international <laughs> good food cuisine? I was like, yeah, that's true. I know I'll be going over to that booth if they have conch and fries. If you don't know what conch is, it's a shellfish show. All right. So what y'all think I could sell that kids would, would be interested in? I was thinking of doing like some resin pencils, but like pretty ones. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. And I, I really don't have time to do anything, to be honest, but we need to raise some money. We had to restart the entire chapter over because it really wasn't a service. Uh oh, I didn't get all the holes, y'all. Oh, here it goes. Hopefully, I'll be able to get it out here. Let me see what y'all said. Hold on, hold on. Let's see, let's see. Did I miss? Hey, Taryn. Hey, girl. Hey. Let's see. Uh oh, rhinestones are never need. No, never. Hold on. Oh, lint roll the front. That works. Let's see. Sorry that I've been asking all the questions so many times. That's fine. Oh yeah, no, I use both. It depends on how lazy I am. I actually use both of um. I use them both equally. I like them both. And honestly, sometimes you find the same things on um, design bundles that you find on Creative Fabrica. Gosh, y'all, I missed the dot. And I tried to look at, okay, there it goes. I tried to make sure I had all of those dots out, but y'all know how that goes. I'm trying to make sure I don't have extra dots in places. Which looks like I possibly did, but okay. Let me see what y'all said. What y'all think I should sell? Maybe some bracelets. What about like if I make some like custom flags or so? I don't know. But then I don't know if I want to get that, like for this because I just. Also, we have um, one of our coworkers who's leaving. She's becoming a teacher, and so y'all know I gotta make something for that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, y'all. I'm like over here. I don't know if how many of y'all do rhinestones. I know Eve does. How many more of you? Like this is the most relaxing part right here. And I think I needed this. Like if you caught the beginning of the live, y'all know I was a hot late mess. And this is so calming and relaxing. I just feel relaxed and at ease. I really should have had something else underneath this, but guess what? It's okay. It's okay. Hold on. All right. All right, let me see what I missed, y'all, because I'm, I'm over here getting dazed and everything. Let's see, let's see. Oh, Barb. Some key fobs. Barb, look at you. Barb, and guess what? Guess who has tons of faux leather too? Courtesy of Eve. So I could get the, the kids and best buddies to actually make some for me. Remember I told y'all my friend um, brought his... Uh, 
silhouette to school so I could get them to use their silhouette. I have my Cricut Maker um, also at school. So I could get them to do that during like lunch or a break or something like that. That, okay. Barb, thank you, girl. Thank you. Well, I think that's what we're gonna, we can make some key fobs. Let's see what other, oh, maybe make some keychains, right? With the school mascot or logo on it. Definitely could do that. All right. Now I'm just doing, mess, making a mess. I'm going to have to place some of these in because I've already moved them off of the things. So I got a few that I need to like manually put in. Typically, you don't have to manually put them in. So key fobs or face mask holders. That sounds good. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm missing some. It takes long. Yeah, they can. They can take long. Bookmarks. Okay. Thank you, Miss Tracy. So I got key fobs, bookmarks, face mask holders. I could do some face masks, like some catchy face masks too, right? I don't know any cool, like I'm not cool like that to know like the latest, you know, sayings that the kids say. I could probably figure out some, I think. Because with, with the group, we have students who have disabilities and we have students who don't have disabilities. We have a mixture, so I can get some ideas from all of them, y'all. So it looks like, I don't know if it didn't cut this circle or if maybe there wasn't actually a circle to cut there, but I'm gonna put my own circles, my own little rhyme songs right there because this looks like a lot of um, missed space, but I'm just moving all of the extra rhinestones that are there. All right, that looks good, y'all. Okay, so I'll get rid of these later and get rid of, I mean, just put them right back into the jar. And again, I got this stuff from Heat Transfer Warehouse. They had um, this and they also have this hot fix tape or mask or whatever it's called, y'all. I don't know. I just call it whatever I think of at that time. Let's see. All right. So here is our mask. And I didn't even check to make sure that it's big enough, but it's going to be big enough today, y'all. We're going to make sure that it fits. I just don't want to get any more rhinestones on it. We're almost done, y'all. We're almost done, and it's only 8.30. Can y'all believe that? Y'all won't be stuck with me all night. I'm just making sure that, uh-oh, I see one that's out of place. Now, the ones that are like this that are out of place really doesn't hurt sometimes, but sometimes it does. And you always want to make sure that they're all flipped to the right side. And I see another area right here. I see a hole that I didn't take out. So I'm just going to put this on top where the hole is. And I did, cause I didn't take that hole out. I think there's another spot. No, I gotta make sure. It may not be, but it doesn't hurt to put a rhinestone right there. I don't know if y'all, y'all probably can't see it that good. Maybe, maybe you see it a little bit better now. If I miss your comments, I'm sorry. Stickers. Oh, some stickers. That's a good. That's a good idea. Stickers, cell phone cases. I got some cell phone cases that I could sub on to. Y'all got some good idea. Care about their cell phones? Thank you, Shay Shay. Something cute to carry a phone. Okay. All right, so this is the part where you got to really commit because you can't, it's very unforgiving for you to put it down and you can't like adjust it once you put it down. So once you're ready to commit, 
you just have to go with it and you just have to let it fall. But because I'm on live with y'all, I'm getting a little nervous about this part. So we're just going to go ahead and go down. And that's it. And then you are going to, this just, you press it to make sure that you get all of those rhinestones in contact with the mask. Let's see. Oh, that's a good idea, JC. With the Glowforge, maybe do a um, sign language sign. Maybe some words in sign language. Maybe welcome. I could actually have that it as uh, a part of my actual table design. Because y'all know I got to do a whole little booth setup. Because I just got to. It won't be right. So I'm just going over these just to make sure that these are nice and stuck onto the mask. Because I don't want any problems. And then we are going to then, um, I'm going to put this, uh-oh, see, I missed one right here. So I'm going to leave this right here for now. And then I don't want to take it off just yet. And then I'm going to go ahead and weed this. So these are kind of small. So I'm just going to try to weed the inside of some of them. But it kind of looks like I have to be careful because I probably could have used a little more pressure. But I really didn't want, when I was testing out this stuff first, y'all, I, um, and I did the whole, like, I had the pressure and I amped the pressure up too high. It cut straight through the plastic or the mask of the HTD. And so that's why I'm a little, I was trying to be a little cautious and not just, like, overdo it. But I'm going to move this out of the way. So here I'm just taking this off. Uh oh. And we got all of those rhinestones on here. I don't know if you guys can see that good. And then I'm just gonna put this right back onto the backing. right back here and then when we get ready to press it onto the shirt then we'll be able to just press it on the shirt so i'm going to sit this right here and then y'all look we could still use this again it's still usable and i'm just going to go ahead and finish weeding this really quick and we're almost done But yeah, I probably could have had it a little bit, had a little more pressure only because um, it's coming up, but it's not coming up as smoothly as I'd like it to come up. I like when it's like completely cut all the way through and no matter what I do, um, it doesn't pull on any other parts of the, the design. I usually like to start in the corner. Let's see if I miss anybody. Watch, I'm going to show you guys. Let's see. So these are pretty small. And you see how when I pulled it, it kind of lifted that up a bit? That's what I don't like. So now i got to be extra, extra, extra careful that we don't... Um, what you call it, that we don't pull up these letters. I remember I told you guys that this was like the thinnest uh, that I've, I've cut anything on this machine to date. So it can cut thin, it cut it, but I just did, um, it's more so the pressure that I have to be worried about and cutting all the way through. But y'all, I cut all the way through something. I was like, really? And it's, hold on. How many of y'all like to weed? 
I don't like reading. I don't like reading at all, actually. But this is a shirt for me. For my, um, for Thanksgiving. Really for me to wear at school for Thanksgiving. That's about it. Uh-oh. Y'all, this is going to take a long time to make. Like, hold on, let me see. I look up and I see Miss Tracy talking about I do not, and I repeat, I do not like reading. Why? I love reading, and I actually have to read this weekend. I plan on reading um, the first few chapters of um, of Mice and Men because my kids are reading it in their English class, and um, yeah, they're reading it in their English class, a group of my kids who have, have this one teacher, and so I need to be on top of what it is that they're reading because they don't like to read either. So I need them to make sure that they read and I know what it is that they're reading. So yeah, I'll be re doing a little reading this weekend. All right. Yeah, this, luckily it's not too much that I'm having to read. You guys can't see that. Oh, she said she does not like to weed. <laughs> I was about to say that, Tracy. Girl, my daughter used to love to read. Like, love, love, love reading. As of late, it's like I have to, like, kind of, are you reading? Did you read a book recently? What's the last book you read? Let's read a book together. Like, I got to, like, keep on her. She used to love reading. I used to couldn't get a book out of her hand. Now, y'all. Now she's like, girl, leave me alone. I got all these fingerprints on this. Yeah. I could have I could have had a little more pressure. I could have I definitely could have had a little more pressure on this, y'all. I know y'all can't really see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. But I definitely should have had a little more pressure. Because I got to do too much, and I shouldn't really have to weed like this, like in pieces and being concerned and worried that it's not going to stick. Another book of All the Souls Trilogy. So I, I would ask how that's going, Bar, but if you're already reading the third book, then that means that it must be good. And that's something that I need to check out. We're almost done with this, y'all. Almost done with this one. And then we are going to, hold on. Uh-oh. See, I don't like, I don't, the way this is set up, I can't even look up and see any comments because of how this is set up. That's what I don't like about this setup. But looks like we got it, y'all. But this is so pretty. I don't want to, do, does anybody keep like their HTV that they weed when it's really, really pretty? It's this one. I like this one, but the one that I always keep is like, there's this gold sparkle that I always keep it. And I find the craziest things to do with it. Uh-oh. Oh, because oh, it's going here too. All right. Uh-oh. Y'all. Yeah. All right, so. With this, it's, I guess this is kind of like the other uh, print pattern HTV. I think this is a little thicker than the other, than regular HTV. So you definitely want to have more pressure. And even if you're cutting this with your Cricut, I would do more pressure when cutting this one too, instead of like the standard or normal pressure. So we're done with this. 
All right, that's not too bad, right? What y'all think of how that looks with this one? I was worried that you wouldn't really be able to see the pattern much, but you can kind of see it still, right? It's not too bad. So I need to t do this one. This shouldn't be that bad, y'all, hopefully. Let's see if I missed anybody. Just the HT is not too bad. Mm. It's not. Bling is always a winner. I love bling. All right, y'all. All right. Of course, I would drop it. Worried about my tea. As long as I don't drop my tea. I'm fine with that. I can drop everything else except my tea. All right. So let me I'm try to get some of those insides out. And then we are going to, yeah. This looks like this may be a situation too, y'all. Uh, because I should have did more. Uh, pressure, but I thought that pressure was already kind of high for this. This is definitely not as thick as the um, as the flock, but it's all good. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let me push my hair to the side because you're walking, can't even see nothing. All right, let's see how this is going to go. And we're going to press it. This is... Nope. Going too quick, y'all. Going too quick. This one, got to take your time, girl. Take your time. Uh, let's see. Going to the choke. Okay, we change the pen. All right. Can't wait to see how this looks off the card, though. This with the bling. Uh -oh. So this is a thinner. Well, I think it. I think honestly, after doing this, I think that this will cut great. Uh, it cuts thin pieces great. The problem is, is that it's with that pressure. So you definitely want to test it out. And when I tested it out, I, I did notice that it wasn't, you know, it didn't come off as easily as I usually like. So I should have amped the pressure up, but I was worried about um, cutting through it. And I did not want to do that. So... That was my situation, y'all. Hi, Mary. Uh-oh. Elena, you still in class, girl? Or that was, no, Danny's in class. Which one of y'all in class? You or Danny? I think Danny. Or maybe both y'all in class. All right, let me, oh. It's not too bad, but I'm just going to go ahead and cut. So, y'all, when I have pieces like this um, that kind of give me a problem or oversized pieces, I cut as I go. So, I'll cut so that I don't have to really worry. But you do want to make sure that you kind of pay attention a little bit so that you don't cut any pieces that you might actually need. That's, that's a whole nother disaster. Ask me how I know. So I'm just taking this apart right now. Uh -oh. See this, y'all. This one part is giving me a problem, and it's where it's it's very thin right there. I can't tell. Oh, don't tell me I'm going to have to cut this over again. Nope. I'm not. I'm about to get my X-Acto knife. And my X-Acto knife is going to do the rest of the job for me. Oh, no. There it goes. But, yeah. 
I really so I cut this on if you if you ever if you remember whenever this machine comes out. So I cut this with a 24 pressure and the blade is uh you can slightly see the blade protruding from the housing. So it should be fine cuz typically with the HTV you don't need that much pressure, but with this one it is and it's not that it's more thick. It just feels a little more uh plasticky if that's a word. Sorry y'all, I don't know if that's a word. It just doesn't seem like it is, but I'm sure y'all know what I mean. Um, but yeah, that's what it feels like. It feels a lot more like plastic. So it's not thick. So I don't know if it's because of the process of how they actually, oh, y'all, I just pulled that too much. But guess what? We're going to go with it. We're going to use it. Yeah. Let's see, let's see. If I am missing something important, I'm sorry, y'all. We are weeding out the word thankful right now. And I am thankful that y'all are here with me tonight. I think I really needed this live today. So this going through. We're almost done, y'all. Almost, almost done. Because once we press this, it's not even going to take long to actually press this. So. Okay. I don't know if you guys, oh, my hands are in the way. I'm doing really bad with showing y'all when I'm what I'm doing today. Thanks to everybody that is sticking around. I appreciate y'all. Uh -oh. All right. Let's see. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah guys. We're almost done, you know? I'm getting too excited. I'm about to mess something up. I don't know if y'all ever get like that. Where you, you're almost done and you just start getting excited and you think, okay, that's it. And you just do one good pull and then that pull is not the right pull. And then you end up starting over again. I don't want that to happen. It's something, yeah. I know for next time with this material, what I need to do. But sometimes your hands work better than your your tools. <laughs> I need a nap. All right. So we are all done finally. For those of you who are still here, yes. Um, so we are going to get ready to put this on our shirt. Oh, y'all know why that... So where I filled in... Remember, I filled in, like, parts of that S that was not, the, it wasn't supposed to be filled in, y'all. It was supposed, because the the F kind of went into the, the S. So, <laughs> it's all good. So, I'm about to meet y'all over at the heat press, okay? Let me see if I miss anybody. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh-oh. Mary, or then you still in class? So hair share TV. The size rhinestones that I'm using are uh, 10SS. I'm using 10SS rhinestones, and I got those rhinestones from Heat Transfer Warehouse. Um, yeah, and then I know Eve uses rhinestones 
from Eve the Baby's Booty. She uses rhinestones, and her rhinestones are very, very beautiful and sparkly. And she gets those from, I think, Be Creative. So I'm using 10SS. All right, y'all, right, we're going to head over to the heat press, and we're about to get this shirt done so I can wear it next week. Um, let's go. I'm going to turn off this camera for now because... Y'all not going to hear me that good. I don't think y'all going to hear me. Okay, hold on. Guys, so I think you can hear me now. All right, so we have everything over here at the press. I am going to get a piece of Teflon. And we're going to press our shirt for a few seconds just to straighten it out, get some of that moisture out so that adhesive can really, really work on the shirt this is not a very big design so it should be fine i didn't even check the pressure let's see if i missed anybody didn't have to go that long Aloha, Patricia. Thanks, Josie. Cool. I'm using a convection oven to sub, and it's giving me a hard way to go. Oh, no. I'm sorry. We have... Hey, Sweet Arts Custom Creations. I'm doing well today. How are you? All right, so we are going to... Put down, uh, no, I'm not measuring this in any specific way. I do like for it to be centered though onto the shirt. This color doesn't really look that good with this, huh? What y'all think? I like this color shirt, but I don't know if it's going to be the best. But I'm not going to change it, so it is what it is. All right, so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to, I'm only putting this here now because I just want to see where, because I'm going to press both of these first. But I just want to kind of have an idea of where that blessed is going to go. Because, yeah. I'm going to put the rhinestones on last. Only reason because I don't really know, like, I, that's just how I usually do it because I'm always concerned that if I put on one piece of flat HTV, then put on the rhinestones, and then try to put on another piece of flat HTV, it won't really um, apply the needed pressure to the second piece of HTV or whatever it is that I'm putting on. So I like to put the rhinestones on last because they are thicker. So that's that's my thought process, y'all. All right, so we're going to put this here. Now, I don't know if this is a hot peel or a cold peel, but we are going to find out together. And for this, I am only going to press this for about eight seconds. Just making a Thanksgiving shirt, Sweet Arts Creations, that's it. 
And so I'm not pressing for the whole time because I'm going to be pressing the rhinestones in. Thanks, Selena. Let's see. Sorry, y'all. Y'all know I be missing stuff. All right. So let's see what type of peel this is. Hot peel, cold peel. We're going to find out now. Okay. Well, it's coming off. As long as it's tacked on there, that's all I really um, wanted was to kind of have it tacked onto the shirt. Not necessarily like press all the way through because we will be putting applying more heat so now we're going to get ready to put our bling on there and our bling says blessed and you just going to remove that backing and there are some pieces you just want to make sure that they're all flipped correctly um and nothing prevents the adhesive on the backs of the rhinestones to attach to the shirt. So that's what hot fix means. So if you're watching this um, and you're not really familiar with, with like rhinestones and hot fix and that sort of thing, the hot fix rhinestones has an adhesive on the back that allows you to attach it to the shirts. The other rhinestones, uh, regular flat back rhinestones, don't have adhesive on the back so we usually use glue or some type of heavy duty glue to apply that to the items that you want to blink out so that's the difference so you can't do this with any rhinestone it has to be the hot fixed rhinestone all right looks like we can we actually have it lined up really good y'all the only difference is is that that F is supposed to be able to go into the um, S, but I filled that in because I forgot. So, yeah. All right, so we're gonna press this for 15 seconds. I don't know what got onto this shirt, but we're gonna press that for 15 seconds. Yo, this is a pretty simple, design. I dragged it out a little bit because I just want to spend time with y'all, but that was a pretty simple design, right? And StarCraft Solo, the create um, software, is pretty easy to turn your uh, files into rhinestones, right? It wasn't too bad. Let's see. All right. Uh-oh. 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 I see a little wrinkling of the shirts. Oh, it's fine. Oh, you look so good. And I'm going to keep this. You can use this like three, about three or four times. I try to use it as, you know, for as long as possible that I, I can. So I usually have pieces of these everywhere. Um, and again, this is good with your rhinestones and also the um, other pattern vinyl that doesn't have the backing on it like this. The ones that you cut from the front. But this one, you mirrored or we mirrored. But look, y'all. Cute, right? So this is going to be my shirt that I wear to school. I'm going to turn off this heat press because y'all I'm not pressing nothing else tonight. But it came out super, super cute. I don't know if you guys can really see. See, you can't really see how that bling looks, but it looks so nice in person. Like, it's very, very sparkly in person. All right, let me come back over to the other camera. hey y'all so we finished our shirt and i actually like it so i was concerned about how this pattern would look and for those of you who 
maybe coming in late. This is what the pattern um, HTV looks like. So at first I was a little concerned with me cutting out such thin letters and if you would be able to really tell the pattern. But y'all, no, oh, I'm holding it wrong. That thankful does look really, it looks good on there. It came out good. And that bling, y'all. Eve, how did I do with this bling? Because y'all know we got the bling queen. And we got bling, we got two bling queens in here. Maybe three. Eve, Marilyn, and Josie is a bling queen now. But how did I do, y'all? I should ring the bell for this. This is this is a bell worthy occasion. So let me get the bell. If I can find it, what did I do with it? Did I drop it? Oh, here it is. Oh, wrong way. So I'm super excited. I love this shirt. I love blinging out anything, y'all, really. Did y'all see that Christmas shirt I made? Isn't it so cute? If you didn't see it, let me know and I will show you because I love that shirt. I'm going to make another um, one of those. So let me know if y'all didn't see it. If you didn't see it, I have no problem grabbing it and showing it. And I'm going to show y'all that book. Thank you guys so much. I... So happy that y'all like this shirt. Hey, Willie, how are you? Hi, Kitty B. Hey. All right, let me see. Let me see. Even if y'all don't want me to show y'all the shirt, I'm going to show you the shirt because I love this Christmas shirt that I made. Hi, Avery. Y'all, I met Avery last week, too. Welcome. Thanks, y'all. <gasps> Taryn, you didn't see it? Oh, I gotta show you. I gotta show you. Okay, wait a minute. Let me go get it. Didn't take much, as y'all see. It didn't take much for me to be ready to go get it. Now, where did I put it? All right, guys, so y'all got to see this shirt, okay? So I made this with also like that pattern HTV, but the pattern HTV that I use for this one, when you cut, you don't mirror. Let me move this back. You don't mirror it, but you need masking in order to apply it, okay, to the shirt because you put it on top. I'm going to have a video. I think I might do a, a, two videos on this. But look, y'all. Didn't it come out so cute? Now, these were the uh, pattern HTVs that I used. And then I used a little bit of pattern HTVs in the word Christmas. And then I just put bling on top. Cute, right? I can't wait to wear this for Christmas. And y'all, y'all know my auntie. She better not come tell me that she wants a shirt like this for Christmas and she wants the entire family to wear a shirt like this for Christmas because, y'all, it's not happening. It's not happening. I'm so sorry. It's not happening. Oh, hi, Kim. Get some rest. And thanks, my love. Get some rest. Thanks, y'all. Yeah, so I'm going to do, I did a quick video, Marilyn. I'm going to have to do like an actual video video, but I do have another, I have this ex, in an extended um, video, but, but see, uh-oh, it came out so good, y'all. I think I actually, did I make this in, I think I did this one inside of um, Silhouette. Like I did the rhinestone part in Silhouette. Tonight I did that in um, the rhinestone for this one. I did inside of, um, I don't know. I think I did it in silhouette. But the, tonight I did the Starcraft solo. But isn't it so cute? 
I love this shirt. I can't wait to wear it. And I want to wear it. I want to wear it next week. But I'm like, you know what? You can't wear it. You haven't even did a Thanksgiving shirt. That's why I did the Thanksgiving shirt, y'all, because I want to wear the Christmas shirt before Thanksgiving. So, you know. Yes, Marilyn, these are the 10 SS. These are 10 SS rhinestones. And he transfer warehouse had a sale on some of their rhinestones. Now they sell hot fix rhinestones too on Amazon. Um, but I know that they had a sale on some of their rhinestones this week. I just don't know if it's still going on. Thanks, y'all. I appreciate it. I appreciate y'all support. Oh, and I needed this tonight. I'm reading everybody who says that they love the shirt and thank you so much. And sharing in my Christmas excitement. Y'all have so many Christmas projects that I'm trying to work on. And I still haven't worked on my porch sign yet. So I need to work on that. I have the wood and everything. And I'm going to cut the letters out. Y'all want me to do a Glowforge um, porch sign? Or a cricket porch sign. Or do y'all want me to do both? I could do one side, a Thanksgiving porch sign with, using the cricket, and then the other side I can do a Christmas porch sign using the glow forge. What y'all think? Thanks, y'all. I'm going through your comments. Let's see. Let's see. Yes, Elena, these are all, well, not the whole thing. Y'all know, I got to keep showing this shirt because y'all, I love this shirt. So it doesn't take much for me to pop this shirt back up and show y'all. So this, see, these are, these are uh, 10 SS rhinestones. And then this is also, this is the printed HTV. This, well, this part right here is printed HTV with a uh, rhinestones on top, like a rhinestone outline on top. And of course, their hats are the printed HTV. And then I did a little bit of layering. I had to uh, put a white part here for the beard because the shirt's black. But if I used the white shirt, I wouldn't have had to, to do that. But yeah. All these rhinestones, all this bling. Let's see. Did I miss anybody? Hey, Nicole. Hey, Regina. Hey, girl. Hey. Yeah. It is, I think it's worth it. Um, as y'all saw, it cut out that rhinestone template very quickly. And it also cut out the um, HTV super quickly too. I think that it is, it's worth it. I think so. There are certain things about that y'all know, if you were here earlier, you know that I don't really care for the rollers on the machine. I also prefer the Cricut over this machine only because of the ease of the Cricut. Um, and I'm used to it. And I don't really have to guess that much using it. This, you kind of have to guess. You have to test. I mean, you should test with the Cricut too, but I don't really test with that one. But this, you test. But overall, I am impressed with the machine. Overall. I am. So, yeah. Oh, Georgie, my auntie probably going to make me do something. She already, y'all, she's already been sending me um, text messages about what she wants for the family, little gifts, personalized gifts. And y'all, I have not responded to her. She sent me like three or four messages yesterday. And yeah, no. No. No, I can't. I cannot. Oh, Miss Tracy, I love you too, boo. Y'all have no idea how much tonight, like, I really needed this. Like, I just feel like a lot of the stress, like, just, like, going away. I feel, like, I feel good now. Thanks, y'all. Thank you, Tampa. Oh, wait, wait. I did ask y'all a question, didn't I? I did. I did. Let me go back up. So I have a cricket, I have Glowforge, I have both. So probably both. We'll do, let's do both. So one side I'll do cricket, the other side I'll do a Glowforge. 
so we could see how that goes and i have some signs that i kind of want to like redo from um dollar tree and five below that i need to sand and i'm going to repaint it and do something else different because i need to get in the christmas spirit in my whole house i have like three trees at school and i'm thinking of I don't know. I used to have a, a huge classroom. Now, not so much. Not so much. All right, y'all. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna do both. Hey, Michelle. Welcome. Okay. See, I got do both. That's gonna be my project for this week coming up. I'm gonna do both. Thanks, Willie. Hi, Joy. Anissa, did you see? Anissa, do some rhinestones. You should. If you have Silhouette Business Edition, there's a rhinestone um, option there. Like you could do rhinestones in, in Silhouette. The StarCraft Solo, I don't know what they, I don't even know. I think I'm using a beta version of it, but you can do rhinestones in that. Honestly, before I did the StarCraft, I would only do the rhinestones inside of Silhouette. That's the only reason why I have um, the business edition of Silhouette is to do the rhinestones in there. Miss Tracy, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. You enjoy your weekend too. I might hop on here again one day this weekend. Um, or I might just do a separate video. And then... Yeah, because I have to go on to Facebook this week and Facebook Live. If you're not a member of our Facebook group, please head over there and join us on Facebook. Um, this weekend, we're probably going to do something special. It is Blingy Elena. I love it too, girl. Thanks, Michelle. Thanks, Taryn. Thanks, Kita. I do. Marilyn, I seem like I feel it. I feel lighter. So thank y'all so much for, because if not, if I didn't do crafts and combos today, I probably would be in the bed crying and sad and feeling sad for this whole world. Like I really would be. I would. So I feel so much lighter now. I made something pretty. And so I feel good. And so, yeah, we live to fight another day. So thank you. Thanks all y'all, seriously, because, oh, it's a hot mess. Girl, Tracy, you better say that. You better say, y'all, if you don't know my auntie, my auntie is a hot mess. And she sends things to my house. <laughs> like, my, she'll send 30 shirts to my house. Oh, did you get your package? No. Oh, well, she'll be coming tomorrow. What's coming tomorrow? A package of 30 shirts that she wants me to do for her. She does not ask. She just sends stuff to my house and it shows up. One time a box was in my living room for the longest. I didn't know what it was. I was like, what is, you know, I didn't even know. She was like, did you get the shirts? I'm like, no, I didn't get any shirts from you. And she's like, well, I sent it and it says that it was delivered. And so I'm like, you better not tell me that this is this box in my living room. And she's like, oh, well, did you, you didn't even look at it? I said, well, I wasn't expecting anything. Like, people are bold these days. And she is so bold. She is so bold. And just so y'all know, I told her that I talk trash about her on YouTube. And she thinks that she was like, well, oh, well, I still need you to do X, Y, and Z for me. So... I guess, y'all. I guess. <laughs> I love y'all. Do that Christmas absolutely and cricket. Cricket. So Lena's telling everybody the size of the 10 SS stone size in silhouette. It is 0.135. Thanks, Selena. Girl, all the shirts that I've done with rhinestones, my rhinestones are still intact. Usually, sometimes I'll do like a second press after I do like that first press. But honestly, it's still intact. No rhinestones missing. 
Yeah. Even like on the hard stuff, like y'all, I've, I've used like uh, the HTV anything and bling anything with um, on hard substrates. And yeah, I haven't had any blinkage loss. So I'm pretty happy about that. Thank you, Danny. Listen. She, the problem is Michelle is that she cooks so good like she's she's like the family cook and so when we have like holidays when we have Christmas Thanksgiving Mother's Day anything and she's cooking we are eating like lobster like and it's there's no limit so she's like she cooks so good all the time and she's always like the first one to celebrate somebody and to throw parties for somebody and so i'm very much like her so that's why we kind of clash a lot i'm very much like her but she thinks that she owns me she thinks that i belong to her and that she can tell me what to do and she can't but she she does though I let her. Ah. Right. Right. I'll complain about it. But, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. They certainly do, Elena. They certainly do. Eve, you still here? Eve might have left after the blankage was done. So for the Cricut, I use, okay, so I changed the settings in the Cricut. Um, I do, um, it's where you add your own material. I'm trying to remember what it says. It's not going to come up on my screen now because I um, don't have the Cricut on. It's on, on its, uh, it's in its room, on its resting place. And so... There's a thing, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, it's just say something about test materials or material settings or something like that. So you want to move that pressure of the machine to 340. So if you move it to 340, then you'll be able to uh, do that, okay? You can move it to, if you move it to 340, it'll cut through. But it's like you have to add your own special material. But scroll all the way down um, when you get ready to select your material, and you'll be able to do it. But 340, you want to adjust that pressure to 340, one cut. You don't need to do multi multiple cuts. Just one cut with it on 340. Thanks, Kita. Enjoy your weekend, too. See you next Friday, girl. Next Friday is what this the 12th so we'll see you next friday hey eve oh shopping on amazon girl i got some stuff in my cart that i need to um go and just check out i need to check out i'm trying to get some stuff because y'all know that sin is going to be on with us on the 19th so sin will be here on the 19th and i want to have like maybe some screen print stuff to do for her i don't know what she want to do Whatever she wants to do, we'll do it. But I want to have some screen printing um, things on there. So um, that's going to be on the 19th, though. I have, like, a regular little basic screen print um, kit. But, y'all, like, Sin has, like, an actual screen print printer printing setup. So we about to try something, y'all. We about to try something new. Hey, Iran. How are you? Um, what kind of rhinestones are these? So these are the, these are crystal, um, crystal 30 gross. I guess that's the size or not the size, the weight. I don't know. Eve, what, what's the best rhinestones to order? Eve is going to tell you to look at Be Creative because Be Creative does have really, really nice rhinestones too. But these are the ones that I got. Let me see, I, let me see if I can pull it up. Hold on. Let me see, Anissa. 
So that's the amount of stones. Yeah. Eve said that's the amount of stones. It's going to be so much fun with Sin. Y'all know Sin is hilarious. So I cannot wait. No, so okay, that's perfect. I have the original maker too, and guess what? I cut it. You, all you have to do the, the the Cricut software is going to be the same. So the same way that you would uh, once you get ready to cut, you select your material. Instead of selecting your materials, you're going to click select like more or something else in the corner. And then once you select that, then you're going to scroll all the way down, and then it'll say something about add material or. Uh, material settings and when you go to material settings then you're going to scroll all the way down again and then you're going to add your own material so you it's like you're inputting a custom material and then when you do that you just adjust the pressure to 340 the max is like 350 but you do 340 only one cut you don't have to cut multiple times so look at you are brilliant people hold on let me go back up so let's see All right Mich michelle listen she and she cooks really really well like she's the type that has like a full spread of everything you never leave her hungry ever ever so send okay so eve says 30 gross is the amount of stones Yolanda says that she gets all of hers from Be Creative. Um, <laughs> I don't remember. Let me see. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can find that out. I may be able to find it out. Let me see. My so for the silver. Uh. Hold on a second, Marilyn. Let's see. What is today's date? I hope I didn't throw it out. Which I could have possibly thrown it out. Because that's, I do stuff like that. Uh. Let's see. I need to open it with silhouette. Oh, it doesn't give me the option. Why? Silhouette, silhouette. Mm -mm. I don't know why it doesn't give me the option to open this with uh, silhouette. It gives me the option to open it with everything else except silhouette. Marilyn, I'm gonna look and I'm gonna find out and then I'll um I'll tell you. I'll text you how many stones I use with that silver. So Eve said that is 4,300 stones or 4,320. Because each gross is 144 stones. That's a lot of stones. But you can these stones go quick. Eve put the link for Be Create. Hold on, where is it? How did I? Oh, goodness. Going too fast. So Eve put the link for Be Createful. And so um, check them out. They have really, really nice stones. Aaron said, I just packed all my stuff and equipment up and I'm moving out of the basement into a warehouse tomorrow. <gasps> Congratulations. That is awesome. You all packed and ready to go. You're moving on up. And I love it. Congratulations. Let's see. When are you going to do your sign with the lights on the go? So Danny, I'm okay, so I have like three videos that I'm doing this weekend and I already kind of started them. So I want to get those finished. And then hopefully by Sunday. I hope on Sunday that I'm able to get the get it done. But you know what? I gotta wait until Monday. My friend was gonna go to Cerulean Tides and pick up a four foot piece of acrylic for me that I need for it, and I forgot to 
ask her to go get it. So, yeah, I'm going to have to. It's probably going to be next weekend. Because it's supposed to go on the little wall over here. How about mess up this this acrylic? Because y'all know acrylic is not cheap. And I'm going to get like this big old piece of acrylic because I want to test out the pass-through portion of the Glowforge because I haven't used it yet because it's been kind of stationary. And so I want to see, you know, I want to cut something long. Y'all, you know what? I need to try it with some cardboard first. I need to see if I... I'm going to try it with some cardboard first because I'm always trying to do the most at first. I need to wait to do the most. But I should have it done by next week and it's going to be done. Let's see. Let's see. Uh-huh. I can't wait to. I have so much fun with Sid. Have so much fun. Let's see. Everybody selling your congratulations. So you said if you go on to be grateful, there are three options of types of stones, but on heat transfer warehouse, there's only one type of stone to choose. So true. These topics are brand of stone or type um it's a type of stone right Eve? i just call these i call all the stones with adhesive on the back hot fix i call this hot fix and it's probably like a mask that might be the correct terminology for it, like a mask um but this works good with the stones and also the um the pattern HTV that requires a mask. So remember I told you guys about the guy that I met, Clo, a TV. If you want to see his uh, link is probably up higher in the chat. But this was the book that he, um, like these are his books. Oh, it's one upside down. Sorry, y'all. So these are his books. And this is a children's book that he, he wrote. Um, his name is Curtis Overton Jr. And he wrote this book. There's some illustrations in here. And it's called Mike the Inventor, the Toy Maker. And I met him in Charlotte at the Graphics Expo last weekend. And then he has like this book of um artist. And it's some like it's some really nice artwork inside of here. This is this is the uh, the the author, and he's like an Adobe. He's a, he's a certified Adobe everything in Adobe. So he has a YouTube channel, and he is going to be posting up tutorials and things like that for um, I think Adobe. So check him out. I don't remember his channel. If I if I find I should have it because I subscribe to it. I'll link it in the description. So Eve says that Lux is the absolute best in bling factor. Thanks, Eve. And DMC is the next best. Not as good, but still blingy. Elena says way to go, Iran. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Hold on. Hot fix. I not recommend unless you have to. Hot fix is for use in the heat press with adhesive. So Barb, SS10 is 3mm, SS6 is 2mm. Y'all are dropping all the information. Thanks, y'all. Flat back is for using glue. So that's it. It's the type. So flat back, hot fix. You are so crazy, Marilyn. <laughs> yeah, no, the program tells you. So um, 
both of them. So the one that I used earlier today, the StarCraft Create, it tells you um, how many rhinestones you're going to need. And Silhouette also tells you how many rhinestones that you're going to need for, for the design. And it's, they're accurate. Very, very accurate. So it tells me if I open it. And this says, I have a heat press key. Does that matter? Hey, Shanine and Nicole. Hey, girl. Hey, what's up? Shanine, did you call me the other day? I had a number come through from Michigan that I saw. Like, I had a missed call. And I didn't know if it was you. And I, my phone was stolen a few weeks ago. So all of the numbers in my phone, I don't have any numbers in my phone. Um, well, I have some now that transferred over. But a lot didn't transfer over because I had never... Um, did the backup for a long time. So if you did, let me know, girl. Let me know. Let me know. Let's see. All right, all right, all right. Oh, for the hot fix, like a small one. Like a cricket. No, well, the mini press is too small for for that. But maybe like an easy pressy where you're talking about something else. You're not talking about that. Let's see. Let's see. Uh oh. Oh, I think I'm at the bottom. Hold on. Maybe not. Oh, maybe not. Hey, lovely Ruth. Let's see. Next time I grew up back. Hello. Iran, I actually love love my Glowforge bell. That was pretty good. Um, I am looking for like one, like a rotary. You can't use it in the Glowforge, but there's this other, like there's a few other machines that I kind of saw last weekend, Eva, that I saw that were pretty amazing machines. Did you see that beautiful UV printer? I'm not there yet, but I got to get there. I want that UV printer so bad. You said, I meant to say Korean hot fix. I don't recommend it. It blinks, but it's, oh, it's a pitiful bling. <laughs> it's a pitiful bling. First time I heard that. Michelle, uh-oh, just went to their site. I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> They're with all their beautiful stones and colors. If you're on Be Createful, girl, that bling is serious. Chanita, text me because, text me, and I when I look, I'm like, but I didn't want to call back in case it wasn't you. So text me, and then I need to save your number in my phone again. Okay, please. Thanks. Thanks, boo. Because I was wondering, I'm like, is it? And I was like, no, because you had just gotten off live. And I was like, no, she. I don't know, because girl. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Let's see. So, you know, this is I use flat black mostly, the deluxe sparkle. So much from Be Creative. Hey, back to this creations. Lena says, you now have bling options for different budgets. Yeah. So the blingy ballers. <laughs> the blingy ballers. Yeah, a small hand press. Most irons have the steam hole so the stones wouldn't press evenly. Good tip, Eve. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, we got the bling queen in here. Let's see. That's what she said. So, like a heat press, Amazon has one that is all the generic, all the generic brand. Okay, that's not bad. Georgie, it's always a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us this week. 
you always join. So thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate your support. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. And yeah, see you next week. Same time, same place. All right, y'all. So I think I'm about to get ready to go take a quick nap before my shift at Big Boys starts. Um, yeah, I might might take a little nap. I feel I've had so many emotions today and then to end like this on a good note. And I know I'm going to have a good time in Big Boys Live tonight. Well, I'm not on there, but we're going to be in the um, comments. The comments are fun. So... <sighs> Oh, y'all feel so relieved. I love y'all. Thank you guys so much. I should have, I should have, I should have. The next one I go to, I'm going to do a live. I'm going to do a live. <laughs> Eve, you know it's true. And I, I got I clocked out early last night, so... I can't clock out early tonight. I gotta go. I gotta go take a nap first. <laughs> Good night, Hair Strands TV. Oh, thank you. We'll be back on next week. Um, next week, Friday, same time, same place. You definitely want to catch the um, live on the nineteenth because Sin will be on with us. Sin is T-shirt chick. If you guys don't know who Sin is. Um, she's T-shirt chick, and she will be on with us the, on the 19th, and it's going to be her birthday on the 21st, so it is going to be a celebration and a Crafts and Combos Live, so I'm excited about that, but enjoy your weekend. I know, you know we are about to have some fun tonight, so I need to get rest, I need to be energized, I need to be on point, yeah, I'm ready. Good night, Ashita. Thank you. Thank you for being here with us tonight. See you next week. Iran, I need naps. I need naps. Thanks, Anissa. You too. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Bye, Barb. Enjoy your weekend, Barb. Big boy, what time are you going to be on? 10.30? Well, I'm on the East Coast, so I think he usually goes on 9.30 tonight, um, Central Time, and 10.30 my time. So very, very soon. And I see you coming in to check on your employees, but you do not have to be micromanaging me, big boy. I will be there. I will be on time. Aw, Patricia Mahalo. And I love you too. Thank you. Good night, Yolanda. <laughs> Big boy, I was late tonight. I was 15 minutes late. I, I don't like to be late, y'all. I was today I've I've been so thrown off all day. I do not like to be late. My computer, my camera wasn't working. Just a whole, a whole hot mess. But we made it, and we made it through, and we did our shirts. So yes, happy about that. <laughs> Eve, he came to check to to make sure that we're on time tonight. We don't be on time. Good night, Shamika. Have a good weekend, and thank you for joining us for Crafts and Combos. We'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Just don't know what we're going to do next week. I haven't even thought that far yet, but we'll see. Got to do something fun. It's almost Thanksgiving. We have a lot to be thankful for. Sometimes, even when it doesn't seem like it. Seven fifty-five. Come on, you know, you know what we deal with. Poor forty. He always bothering. Big boy's always bothering forty, and I don't like it. Happy birthday, Natasha. My daughter's birthday's coming up too. Her birthday's on the thirteenth. That's next week, Saturday.
Good night, Iran. Thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations on your big move. We definitely want to get an update about that. Um, so keep us posted. We'll be around. We'll be here every Friday night. Um, do you have a YouTube channel? Or are you planning on starting one? Or no, you don't do YouTube like that. If you do, please let us know. We would love to, to support Elena, my sweetie. Uh. <sighs> Thank you, boo. You were here from the beginning. Thank you so much. When I was late, you still stuck around. I love you, girl. Thank you. I appreciate it. Enjoy your weekend. Natasha, Shamika saying happy early birthday. All right, y'all. So that looks like that's going to be. Oh, hey, Keith. Oh, wait, you got some more birthday wishes. Hey, Keita. Thank you, boo. Thanks, Eve. Good night. Well, Eve, it's not good night. I'll see you in 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes. I'm about to start it up because of you guys. Awesome. That is awesome, Iran. Oh, you're going to love it. You're going to love even just YouTube, like the community that we have, like just the community of crafters and just talking to everybody. Like, look, I got on here being a hot mess today. A hot mess, feeling overwhelmed, feeling sad. And now, guess what? I feel good. And that's because I did a little crafting and conversing with y'all. And y'all gave me all of this good energy through this, these wires, these airways. Thanks, y'all. <laughs> Shani said good. She said happy birthday and good night. Uh oh. So Elena's giving you some tips. She says start taping your move in and continue with the setup and progress. That's good. That's good advice because people want to know. You have a lot of people who want to do that and seeing it, it inspires them. So Elena over here giving some good advice. Yes, sis. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Everybody thinks that's some good advice, Iran. Yep. Oh, y'all see my good vibe shirt from Los. I got this shirt from T-Shirt Man Lowe's. Check out his, his YouTube and also his TikTok. His TikTok is popping, but we are trying to get his YouTube to be popping as well. So y'all check him out. T-Shirt Man Lowe's. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Elena. Yep. Go live and we will come there to support. We sure will. We like to have fun in lives. Yep. I might need to wear this shirt all weekend. Put on a good vibe shirt. Came in to craft some combos with y'all. Y'all had the good vibes. Like... Yeah, I might need to keep it on. Big boy, oh, big boy, I'm ready. I'm ready for tonight. I'm ready. I'm prepared. I'll be there on time. Are you going to be there on time tonight? I'm definitely going to be there on time. I'm about to go get set up right now. First, I need a nap, though. Like, just 10, 15 minutes. That's it. Nicole, hey Nicole, welcome. Well, we about to we about to head out now, but we did. This is what we did today. 
Well, I showed everybody my little blingy Christmas shirt because it's my favorite shirt right now. But we did a we did a shirt for me to wear to school or to work for Thanksgiving. And we did like a little bit of bling. And we used some pattern HTV bling and the StarCraft solo tonight. So worked out pretty decent. Bye, Iran. Girl, Elena, get your coffee. Girl, I'm about to go get a nap real quick. Like, seriously. So, thank y'all so much for joining me tonight in Crafts and Combos. This date night was really, really special. And I appreciate all of y'all. I love y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm thankful for, for y'all and us who be out here heavy in these YouTube streets. Love y'all. And I will see y'all next week, Friday, for Passive Combos. Later, y'all.